how we call things by different names. What's this, Grandad? It's my iron helmet. Did you wear it in the war? Nope, I used to wear it at breakfast. Why did you wear an iron helmet at breakfast? It was long before you were born. We just got our first wireless, what you call the radio. Mum and Dad still say wireless sometimes. Well, we bought our first wireless and listened to 1YA and 1ZB. They were the radio stations back in those days. Your grandmother liked to listen to them broadcasting Parliament. She got very angry with the MPs. She'd shout at them and tell them they were wrong. But they couldn't hear her. Not a show. No matter how loud she shouted, but that just made it even angrier. The same with the news. When the weather report came on, she didn't like it. She used to tell the announcer to do something about it. Did she know he couldn't hear her? She never listens to me. If she didn't like a song, instead of turning it down, she'd sing at the top of her voice to drown it out. You should have heard her telling off the Prime Minister. And then there was Aunt Daisy. Who's Aunt Daisy? She came on every morning, told people how good it was to drink Bushel's tea. She'd give good cooking recipes and tell you how to clean your windows with a drop of kerosene and a bucket of water and newspaper to polish them. Your grandmother was a great one for contradicting Aunt Daisy. By the time she'd sung several songs, put everyone right, told them their weather was wrong and that they didn't know how to run the country, that their recipes didn't work, her throat used to get pretty sore. Your grandmother thought the announcers and the singers and Aunt Daisy and the Prime Minister all lived in the back of the wireless. I think that. Well, you're wrong, Jack. But it looks a bit funny when you find a grown woman talking into the back of the wireless and telling the weather announcer to come out where she can see him. Yeah, but why did you wear an iron helmet to breakfast? I'm getting to that, said Grandad, grinning at me. In the early days of wireless, we had porridge for breakfast. Yeah? And your grandmother would stir the porridge with a big wooden spoon she keeps in the second drawer by the sink. Yeah? One Monday morning, she boiled all the white things, like sheets and pillow slips, in the copper and hung them out to dry. Came inside and was stirring the porridge when the weather announced, Heavy rain this morning! Granny looked out the window, saw rain falling on her washing, and was so angry she cracked me over the head with a big wooden spoon. But it wasn't your fault. Grandad rubbed at the top of his head. After that, I wore my iron helmet to breakfast, and she could dong me over the head all she liked. Here, have a look at it. If your grandmother liked the music they played on the wireless at breakfast, she'd beat time, donging the top of my helmet with a wooden spoon, and singing the words at the top of her voice. You wouldn't believe the row it made inside the iron helmet, all that donging and singing. Gee, Grandad. There's bits of something stuck all over the helmet. Old porridge. Off the big wooden spoon. And look at all the dents. Your grandmother always had a fairly strong arm. But we had porridge for breakfast this morning. And Granny didn't wave the big wooden spoon and dong us over the head. That's because the second war came. We started taking the morning paper. And your grandmother stopped listening to the wireless. And read the news and the weather report to me at breakfast instead. Why did she stop listening? People stopped calling at the wireless about that time, started calling at the radio instead. I remember your grandmother saying, It's not radio, it's the wireless. She turned it off and never listened to it again. Never? Your grandmother holds some pretty strong views. Did Granny ever dong you over the head again? Never. I wore my iron helmet to breakfast a few more times, then hung it in the back of the shed and forgot it. It's funny, said Grandad, how we call things by different names and forget the old ones.